Hey guys, and welcome back to another video from the Parrot Brothers. I'm Rob. I'm Dom. And he is behind the camera. And today we're at Stonely Kit Car Show and we are in the VIP zone. This is upstairs above- Yeah, I'm not sure how we managed to bag this. I Someone just, just come up to us and just like, do you want to go upstairs and film? Like, we were like, yeah. yeah so please. this is one of the inside halls where we've got loads of uh, different companies, different brands selling different things. Yeah, so we've got MK at the far, far left at the back there. We've got, what else we've got? AK Sports Customs in the middle. Yeah. Over the Cobras right. And that. Then you've got, what you've else? Got Dax. You got? Yeah. You've got the boat car. The boat car, I've got to love the boat car. Then we've got some Porsches, you've got some bike engine stuff. You've got minis. Then you've got seats. Quantum sport cars down here. West, Westfield and Chisel just in the yeah. middle. And then we, what else Chisel? we got? Chisel, Chisel, Chisel. Chisel. Yeah, Chisel. Yeah. GBS over the back. Yeah, and then Interim in the far, into seats. the far section, there's another warehouse further down with all the stuff inside. So yeah, there is a lot and there's a lot to see. There's loads of cars outside. Should we head down and have a little look? Yeah, let's go down. Let's go and have a little look. Come with me. Enter the world of the kit car show. Let's go. Cheers there, buddy. Thank you. So guys, we'll have a little look around what's inside. We've got some different things. We've got a mini with a bike engine in. We've got like, I think a Jimny that you turn into a boat. Oh yeah, the boat, boat car. car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, There's quite a yeah. cool Skoda. I'm not gonna lie, if we weren't already building a car, the boat car would be a boat solid, car would be funny, solid it? contender. It's probably lucky we didn't come here first, isn't it? That Skoda's <laughs> got like a twin bike engine. Twin yeah, so this, this bike engine. Skoda U pickup thing, which is basically a Skoda front end on a Space S frame, is it? Space frame, like escort body by the looks of the door handles. And it's got a Let's twin. Have a little look. Is there someone standing at the side? No. Was it twin? Was that a thousand cc bike engine? Yeah, I think they said it was for. What was it they said? That's wicked, isn't it? And look at the yeah. seats. They're proper fat. Oh, you got your, the Kirkby style buckets. Look at the... Oh, what's under the... Oh, look, the back's open to see as well. That's sick. Seven inches. That's wicked, isn't it? That's proper cool. That is mint. What are the engines in this? Uh, GSX-R1000. GSX-R1000s. And you make the conversion yeah. box for the... to be able to use it for a car or for a... whatever, or...? <laughs> I don't know exactly the size of it. But yeah. That's quality, isn't it? Yeah, it's wicked. We're going to have a look at the Mini. Yeah, the Mini's cool. And is that the same engine? I think the only person in it. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> right, so this is the Mini in question. Yes, yeah, it's got a, well, that's a 1,000cc GSX-R engine as well, is it? I and think. they're called Jixamini.com. Yeah. So they make a conversion. From what I can see based on this, they make a way of uh, basically using the bike engine and box in a car. And I mean, to be honest, it goes quite well. Yeah, I mean, you, they used to have in like 1.4s, yeah. but obviously they're like, what, 40 odd horsepower or something yeah. stupid. And this, and this is, is probably 100 odd. 150 100. probably. Yeah. And people put K20 lumps in this, but that is Yeah, I mean, look at the fits. size, just to give you an idea of size, it's like. That fits perfect. Yeah, plenty of space. Yeah, that's you can even nice. turbo it. <laughs> well, imagine that. Would you need to? No, I don't think so. Right, should we carry on walking around? Yeah, we'll Let's go look at this uh, Ants, Ant Anstead's car. Ants race. So this MX5 is race car. using the same engine that we're currently using. Look, it's got a VVT engine. So on the front, you use the actual MX5, oh, the MX5 arms, and that's the chassis. Then you use the engine gearbox, and then that's the rear bits as well. That's mental, you've got the clocks the and everything, isn't it? bolts onto a frame. You've got the old master cylinder, like, the brake master cylinder, the ECU, the standard clocks. Let's go and have a look at the, the finished boxes. built one. That is wicked. It looks like an old Bentley racer, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, that's... And that is an MX-5 race car. Mad. That's mental. I don't think on the uh, price range of that. Well, Let's move on. You never on. know, do you? You never know, do you? So if you've got loads of money, you can get a brand new crate engine. Yeah, so there's obviously showing their range of engines and, that's like and boxes. What, an L and LS2 or something, is it? Something like that? I'm um, not great with the old big, nah, big V8 not, stuff, but big massive. V8s. You've got a company doing Porsche body kits for conversion kits to change your Boxster into a uh, GT3. Then you've got a one plus two. Yeah, so I, we saw these at um, Brighton Park, Brighton Park yeah. last year. If you remember, I think there's a V-Storm. Yeah, look, V-Storm. V-Storm, yeah. WR3, yeah. So if you, if you want to scare two people at once, 
that is the one to do it in because they can sit right next to you screaming into your ear as you're yeah. hearing around. Let's head over here, we've got a boat car. Oh, the boat car. Yeah, you have to walk slightly in front of me just so I can keep you on film as yeah. well as, there you go, that's right. So this is a boat car based on a Jimny. So they do the whole kit to change it to a So if a you've got anyone car. who's a bit of a hazard who drives who might need a boat car once in their life. You never know, you could go down to Bournemouth and just set off. And just go and uh, go for a spin in the water. Do you know what I call, <laughs> There's something about this I really want. You like this, do you? <laughs> I love ugly, oh, ugly God. weird things. We should show this to you, Dad. You're like my dad. You if like we showed ugly this to cars. Dad, Dad would be all over this. Dad loves this. He would love this. A Dutton Surf. Dutton Surf. They go, oh, look, with uh, what looks like Mark IV golf headlights. Oh, yeah. Stop this is it. what I love. This is yeah. what I like, because you walk around going, oh, what's this from? What's that from? This paint job on this one, I don't know if your camera's going to pick it up, but that. I don't know, but it's like pearly. Pearly light. You can just about see on the top of the bonnet here, it's like a pearly. I will call it burgundy. Burgundy seems to be my common favourite colour. Yeah, but that is lovely. But yeah, look, I don't know if I don't know if it will quite show the the intensity of the colour. No, it might not. But yeah, so this is Siltec Racing. They do all the different paint finishes, Spray Wizard, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, should we go for a wander through the middle? You got uh, yeah. What else we got? All the different wheels, wire wheels, and Ferraris and replicas and all that kind of stuff. They're Blockley tyres. Radial tyres and all sorts of old style and then we got cross plies. Interim, they do like seats and stuff. Yeah. They got, I think it's this like is, oh yeah, AK Sports Cars. Rob's walking off chain. Sorry, the old, lads. The old <laughs> lads and ladies. Is JPS, JF? Yeah. John Player Special, is it? Yeah, something like Design. that. Design. It's the black and gold. It reminds me of the old Turbo, yeah. Turbo Lotus cars. And then here we got AK, you know, with those lovely AC Cobras. Yeah, so this is where the, the two best looking Cobras are. So if you drop in the comments, oh, we want to know what's your favourite. Yeah. I like the burgundy one, you like the blue one. Yeah, the blue one, for me the blue one is the best. But that, look at this. I don't, I don't know how well the camera's Ooh, gonna pick it up, pick but it up. we'll certainly show. Oh, no, you can see the colour. There's no doubts about no, that. That's lovely. Oh, he did have the engine open earlier and it looked amazing. Yeah, isn't it running an LS, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, you got this flat colour. Looks quite cool. We're going to go to the one I like now. Supercharged. Oh, I've just extended the arm on me, uh, me hand. Now this is the one that you like. This is the one I like because this cool. is subtle as it's, it's got, got the everyone bonnet around it as well. Oh yeah, we'll do a, bit, a decent bit of filming. Oh, look at this. How bright is your chassis? Chassis cage. That's oh, wicked. Running a Honda Turbo, as you do. Size of it as well. Casual. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's wicked. So let's have a look at this AC. This is. I so do. this is just, oh, it's just it's blue hard. and black. Look, the exhaust is black. All the look trim at, is black. The interior is the interior spot is, on. You can see, look at that leather. Oh. Even the, like, what are they, fiberglass seats with leather trim? Yeah, yeah they're, they're like leather skinned. That is gorgeous. To be fair, oh, I'm hard look task. Look at the, the blue and the black. Oh. Between that and the other one. Oh. It actually looks a little bit brighter on the camera, but it's not. It's, uh, it is just, oh, it's such a deep blue in the sun. That would absolutely yeah. bang. And Let me try and adjust the camera a bit. See what I'm seeing. There we go. That is gorgeous. That's what I'm seeing. Who thinks that? Rob should wear one of them? Mr. Wig. Mr. Wig. Who thinks Rob should wear a sequin suit? 100%. Do you reckon we could get the Parrot Bros logo sequined into a suit? I reckon you could. It's worth a try, isn't it? Anyone in the, uh, drop down in the comments if you can make it for us. Yeah, if you can make it, Rob will wear I it. I will model it. <laughs> Rob will wear it. <laughs> he fits size large men's, anyone, if they need to know that. Right, should we go into the, uh, the so bits this, where we're going to take all our money? Yep. So this is like a, not an auto jumble as such, but then you sell, this is where you get parts, things like um, custom trimmers. I'm going to have to adjust my camera because it's dark, hasn't it? Um, they got, they do looms. You've got a company that does digital speedos. They do vintage style. They do bikes, they do clock pods. They do all that kind of stuff. I'll give you a quick look on their, their display. Um, they do everything, oil, temperature, all that kind of stuff. You've got different, this is, there's some used parts, there's some new parts, there's trimmers, there's, there's tools, there's tools, there's someone that's gonna take your money to bring cash. This is tools, we're gonna come back here and buy a few bits for the garage in a bit. Yeah. The trimmers is quite cool. Should we show them some of the it's, materials it's just, we saw? It's not a trimmer, it's like- No, sorry, they raw materials. Yeah, raw materials, so, and it's you know not even I mean. that expensive. And they got things like um, pipings, they got pipings and door trimming, so if you may need to make a door sill or um, like edges, edge trimming and stuff like that, they got carpet. Like and that kind is, of stuff. That is Martrim. Martrim. 
And we're gonna definitely look into that in the future, aren't we? Yeah, 100%. We've also got a few cars. We've got a couple of AC Aces over there. A couple of different kits. You've got some weird, what are they called? I don't know what that Mini is. Mini kits. Yeah. This Which, has got a Land Rover engine in. You're joking? Nah, look at it. Do you reckon it's four wheel drive? Nah. Oh. Nah, it's not. It has a- 4.6. No way. It doesn't look like a 4.6, is it? No. I bet that weighs a ton. Yeah, mate. And it is only still rear wheel drive. So when, you, when someone said to me kit car before we were building ours, that's what I used to think of. Some yeah. big V8, With half polished, alley half panels. Yeah. And... Really boxy back end, spare wheel on it. But that is where kit car, I mean, Fridge, yeah, that's where yeah, it come from. That is it? where it was Look from. at this thing. This is a bit of me. Oh, look, look at this thing, this is <laughs> wicked. You imagine having that as a grocery getter? Cool, that's gonna blind you. That is it? a hustler sport. That is gonna blind you. A hustler sport. Look at all them lights. To be fair, it's not like you need to be seen in one of these, is it? Do you reckon it? it's electric? I doubt it. it. Might be. What does it say? Aston Martin Lagoda fame. Who knows? I don't know. Has it got a rev counter? <laughs> it's got some gauges with a mobile phone as a display. No way. It's got a radio. That is quality. You see it all. I do. So today we're here with Trev from the Northwest Kit Car Owners Group, and they actually run a show, uh, and that is later on this year, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. And that is Kit Fest? It is, at Santa Pod. Okay, and what dates is that? That's the 18th and 19th of June. Wicked, and you've been running that for a few years now? We set it up in 2019. Okay. We had our first one then, okay, and, uh, and of course we know what happens in between them. We had Kit Fest Lite last year. Yeah. Um, which we had probably about four or five weeks to get set up. We, we couldn't get in touch with anybody as such, so we just had a jolly. Okay, that's and, good. And we're hoping to get it up and running. Yeah, and what's the response this year been like? Is it? Well, I've had a chat with all the manufacturers here today, and it's been very, very positive. We've okay. already got four bookings. Um, so AK are coming along. Um, there's hopefully GBS will be coming with, as well as um, M and R uh, and MK. Okay, wicked. So we'll so, have to. Get that one in the diary. And uh, if you think, you are? Thinking of buying a kit. Oh, and if you're thinking of buying a kit, yeah, it's definitely worth popping along to Kit Fest to have a little look around the other manufacturers and stuff. Well, if you've got one, bring it and if you've got one, bring it along, yeah. And yeah. Is, it, is it a whole weekend camping? And... It is, yeah. Saturday, at the moment, it's Saturday, Sunday because there's one or two restrictions, but hopefully next year it'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so like a full event. It is. And the, and the best thing about it is that we, we're the only third party that Santa Pod have allowed in. Oh, okay. Every show they do throughout they the year. Run. They run. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a big thing for us and they're supporting us. And, and basically what it is, is it, it runs alongside the, uh, which is a Saturday event, Run What You Brung. Okay. So yeah. it's open to the public. Yeah, yeah, I've been to and a then, few of them. Yeah. And then on the on the Sunday, it's uh, alongside the retro show. Okay. So we've got, and that's generally got a footfall of about 7,000 people. Okay, so it's quite day. busy then, that's quite good. It is. And it's, it's good It's good for us because yep. you've got more things to look at from the kick side. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, and, then, and then you've got the, the new guys that, I mean, in 2019, yeah, yeah. they turned up and thought, what's wow. that? Yeah, what's yeah. that? You know, yeah, that, I've never that seen, I've never seen, you know, not, and, and so that's what was trying to get new blood. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, and you've got two groups, haven't you? So you've got the Northwest Kit Car Owners Club and then you've got the hardcore group. Yeah, it's, it's the same group. Yep. But what it is, we, it's Facebook rate, uh, run. Um, the outer group, um, the, the criteria is that you need to have a kit car to join. Yep. If you sell your kit car, you, you leave. leave the group. Um, so every single member that comes in is vetted. Yep. Um, so we know that we've got a kit car and so on. So we don't get any keyboard warriors. Okay, that's we're great. We're a fantastic banter. Yep. The second part of the group is a donating side of the group, yep. uh, which is what we call hardcore. And there's a lot of benefits to that as well, isn't there? There is. Yeah. Um, I don't like talking about the benefits no, because course. I want people to give for the for right the reasons. And it, all the money goes to charity, doesn't it? It does. Um, that is amazing. This was our first one in 2018. We gave 3,456. Wow. And that was last year. Um, again, we gave 6,405. We've got another one which is in the bit middle of this, but we've yep. lost the canvas for it, or oh. Claire House have, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. Um, this year, we're just about to donate 7,700 pounds. Wow. Uh, to Claire House. That's amazing. Um, so if you have got a kit car, it's definitely worth being part of this community. I'm absolutely. already part of it. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. we're building one. Um, but yeah, it is great. It's really helpful. And it's great to go to all the shows and events and stuff, because you do a lot of 
like pub meets and stuff, don't we you? We do, yeah. We, and in, in actual fact, the weekend after Kitfest, yep. there's 43 of us going to Le Mans Classic. Oh, wow. That, so, uh, which is something else awesome. I organise. So we do a lot of events. Okay, wicked. So you, it's not just Facebook related, um, you know, a lot of banter and stuff. Yeah. So if it's, you've got a kit and you want to get out, it's definitely worth joining absolutely. this and, club and, and you'll get out. We give something back. Yeah. We give something back into, in return as well, which is, you know, if we can, why not? Wicked. Well, thanks for that, mate. You're welcome. And we'll definitely see you again. We'll do. Thanks again. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Bye-bye. Okay, so we've got the MK stand. Rob's actually having a chat with a few people about this, about the car at the moment. We're just ordering a few more bits and, and whatnot. They've got quite a selection on offer. This is the VTEC Honda K20. They've got a couple of bike engine ones. Usually you can tell because of the throttle bodies and the uh, foam filters hanging out of the engine. This one's got the full cage, proper hooligan spec one with the black and yellow, really nice. Look at the exhaust. Not quite sure, I'm guessing that's probably for sound or noise regulation. But that's an Indy RR, and that is a cool thing. Let me just adjust the camera for light so you can see a bit better, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that shifter. Imagine just banging through the gears with that. It's got the bike, you can see the bike speedometer. I really like that rear view mirror. I'll get that down low so you can see it a bit better. So this is a thousand, thousand cc bike engine in, in a car, which is just epic. Uh, and you've got some of their stuff they offer, all the different sales stuff, the different grills, cheers. Uh, you've got a turbo, should you want to do a turbo? And then we've got, this is their RX-5 turbo, which they've recently built and sold. Um, I think they sold it this weekend whilst they were here, very cool. It's definitely something we're going to look to do in the future, I think. Look how easy that is. It just looks right, doesn't it? It literally looks so fixed how it is. So clean as well. How clean is that? And look at the seats with the old padding. Definitely need a little bit of padding, especially if you're going to buy a go-kart like me and do karting because you will definitely need that. They even show, this takes me back. We have a quick look in the side quickly. So this is with the MX-5 standard bezels and the steering wheel, same as we're going to have. And then you, this takes us back, we've got the chassis. This is slightly different to ours. I'm not 100% sure what this is, but ours doesn't have this mount. Whether this is a new thing or this is for something different. Um, ben, what's that for? What's, is this for a different setup to what we have? Or? Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> this is the new cup chassis. Oh, the cup, okay, yep, yeah, cool. that's the new cup chassis, and that is the cup car. That's beautiful, isn't it? I love the decals. Really subtle, clean, really nice looking, mate. Really well done with that. We've got a couple of MK kit cars here today and there's a lot more. We'll have a little wander around in a minute. Let's have a little look at MK. This is pretty stock looking. Yeah, I mean, it's got stock a cage. Car. Yeah, it's got a cage. So that, that's the inside cage. Obviously, we've gone for the FIA cage. And then if we pan over a in a minute. Ooh, so this is using that. what we're using with the, uh, the dash, dash clocks. Yeah, the standard sort of wipe, uh, wiper arm and that. Yeah, it's standard got quite a nice box. diffuser, rear really diffuser, yeah. big spoiler. But it's big got spoiler. The, Big cage. Big, big cage, <laughs> and it's got the like the old style standard lights. Yep. And then if we pan over to this absolute weapon. Absolute you, weapon. You could go crazy, and that's what this has got. It's got a big wing. It's got a big wing, it's got a roll cage, massive diffuser, and he's got loads of lights. Loads of carbon. Loads of carbon, loads of styling colours. And oh, yeah. they, uh, them rear arches look familiar, Rob. Oh, they do. <laughs> they don't look, are they wide ones though? I don't, uh, I don't know if they, I don't think oh, they're as they wide. might be extra wide. Yeah, they might be. But yeah, so this is like an absolute weapon. This is what you could turn yours into. But uh, yeah, should we go and have a little look around? Let's go and have a look around. Should we see, see what, what we got? got? We've got to go and look at this yellow thing first. What is this? It's like a mini tank or something. I don't know what it is. I think it is based on a mini. Yeah? Yeah, I heard someone talking about it earlier. Mini kits. Yeah. Look at that, no doors, just like ours. I quite like the idea of having no doors. Go, on, go stand next to it, Rob. I'm trying to get a, an idea of size. <laughs> it's tiny, tiny. It? Look at the wheelbase. That is go short. Go stand next to it again. <laughs> Try and give a, an idea of size. <laughs> so only could you reach side to side. You can reach front I to back as well. Imagine oh, watching that. Three wheelers that we like. Three wheelers. Yeah, they're cool. 
I did see a, uh, what is it, Messerschmitt? Yep. That's quite cool. And had an Isetri style, what did they call it, a Trojan, wasn't it? Yeah, a little Trojan. And then, oh, oh. a Ferrari. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no, we're at a kit car show. Must be an MX-5 or something. Oh, there's a couple of cool speedsters as well. Yeah. See, they, do you know what? Look at these things that are blue and the silver one. They don't look like kit cars, do they? No. They've got that sort of... Um, a bit more factory Lotus-y kind of vibe yeah. about them. And look at this Club Vortex here. Yeah. You ain't going to be unseen in that, are you? That is pretty leery. The camera's not even picking up how bright that is. But that it is just like, like white on top. Luminous green. That is a luminous yellow. Oh, do you hear that? Oh yeah. That's a bit of burning rubber. There's some drifting going on. So what we got here? We've got a couple of speedsters, some Ferraris. So this one's actually based on a Porsche Boxster, I believe. Because if you look <laughs> at, well, the interior is definitely a little bit more modern than the... Uh, that's actually really nice. Speed. That's really nice, isn't it? You've got all the... the Comforts, the luxuries yeah. and yeah, and then you've got a nice comforts. old okay. looking car. Let's give a pan back. That is wicked. It's lovely, isn't it? I wouldn't yeah, mind smoking like down that. the road in that. Plenty fast oh. enough. Oh, other business. Keep your phone on silent. <laughs> and then we got a few Ferraris. Yeah. Oh, that one's for sale if you want it. Twenty-seven thousand nine hundred fifty pounds for Ferrari. Ferrari. That is a cheap Ferrari. What else we got down there? Oh. Oh, that, that old one actually looks oh. quite nice. Yeah, see, the, we were having this debate earlier. With, with the sort of the, the newer stuff, it's really hard to get it looked to bang on. But with the older stuff, because they were old and you they weren't particularly well built, yeah, weren't particularly well built back in them days, like panel gaps and finish and stuff like that. But that's really that nice. That kind of looks nice. Yeah, you wouldn't really know unless you knew what you were looking yeah. at or old enough to be around when they were built in the first time. Yeah, yeah. I don't think uh, we passed for that. <laughs> nah. Should we go and see what's going on with the old drifting? Yeah, I think so. Now, I don't know about you, Rob, but uh, that I is, would quite happily have one of them. I would quite happily build that one is. of them, but I think we need a bit of a bigger garage for that. And a slightly deeper there. pocket, probably? Oh, a much deeper pocket, because that is massive. I that just like the awesome. way the doors are so low as well. I'm not going to say it's probably not particularly elegant to get in, though. Look at the colour of that, mate. That is lovely. It's like a pearl. Oh, it's like a pearl, isn't it? Yeah, that's well nice. What was the... Um, uh, oh. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Would be rude not to see yeah, it drive yeah. off, I think. I'd be worried about this very small little curb that we have here. <laughs> Listen to that, mate. Yes, please. Oh, don't mind if I do. I would definitely have one of them. Right, well, where was this little drift pen thing? I think it's just over here to the left. Here in the natural habitat of the drift <laughs> circle. So Westfield are doing a arrive and pay to drive thing. Um, you get to passenger. passenger yeah. Yeah. You get to passenger for 15 quid and they go and scare you until you wet your pants and then they'll take you in again. Oh. So they go and do a bit of a circuit over there and they'll come back in a minute. And that's and running some the donuts. S2000 engine. Yep, I yeah, I would say so, so based on power. sound. 230 -ish. Yeah, got to be. Right, they're coming back this way now. It's actually quite capable, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh look, no ads. <laughs> he looks like he's having a well good say. time. The passenger of that was definitely having, he was uh, having a wicked 15 time. pound well spent. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, stuff wise, yeah, there is cars as far as the eye can see, some weird and wonderful. And if you're thinking about getting a kit car, I would definitely recommend coming here because there's so many different options. You get to see all the companies, different people's builds. You can chat to people that have built them already, which we've had quite a good couple of conversations. Yeah, I mean, we've been stopped a few just times. Different... We've also chatted with people who have just built weird and wonderful things and gone, what on earth is this? Yeah. <laughs> and how do you get in that? What's it based on? What's the, you know what I mean? There's all these different things that yeah. come into to consideration. Oh, we missed this bit of food, mate. Oh, is there more food? Oh, oh we'll go back oh, there look, later. there's loads here. The oh, shed. That's where he's on about the food. Yeah. So this is uh, the Westfield stand. Um, there is quite, because obviously Westfield have been going for so long. There's quite a there's few There's quite a here. few different variants of styling and the way people have done them. Some have got big, long flame wheel arches and what they call them, the side? New Side fenders. Side fenders and, and Some of them and got the new sort of bonnet, the old style yeah. bonnet, the rear back end. The and new the thing back is, because you rang Westfield and said, look, I've got a 1980s Westfield, can we 
can we do this, it. can we do that? And then they'll say, yeah, sure, here's the part you need, whatever. Um, should we head over to the... You want to see some more Ferraris, do you? We're going to see some more Ooh, Ferraris. Is that, is that an F40? Oh, wait. We need to kid, remember. Still it's a, a kid, kid car. car. Show, yeah. Fuck. But tell you what, some of them actually make you question whether anyone would know. Is it fit is it... from far, but far from fit? Yeah, that's the... Let's have a look. That's the one. I've got to try and jump this barrier now. Do you want to, do you want to go under or over? Under. Thank you. Ugh, beautiful. Check we're not going to get run over. See, the old stuff always looks that much better, doesn't it? We sneak right. under it. Go on, oh, have a little beautiful. sneaky sneak. Right, so we'll have a little slow pan. There's the F40 in question. <laughs> and then there's a few other... See, the couple of old ones look really nice. The, the old ones you wouldn't really question. Nah. I mean, even these, were they... What are they, the spiders, are they? Yeah, no. the spiders, they don't look too... Are they spiders? We're 360? No, they're not spiders. That's a 360. That's 360. Yeah, I'm not very good with Ferraris. That F50 looks... I'm not going to lie, I don't want to be offended to the owner, but it ain't a good one. It's got the same lights as Dad's old Laguna Coupe. <laughs> <laughs> wicked, <laughs> wicked. But yeah, that, that sort of really light blue one, that's really nice. And yeah, even this, this black one, if you was from far, you'd yeah. think, yeah, maybe that's the a The thing Ferrari. that gives it away for me is when you do this, and you go sideways and see that the wheels are being eaten by the arch. Yeah. Especially the front, I mean, it's probably like a foot gap. The ripply bodywork. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then again, but, if you want a Ferrari yeah. and you can never afford a Ferrari, then I mean, why not? There's definitely the way to do it. What I like about kit shows is, you'll you see a set of lights and you'll think, what car's that yeah. from? And then you get to play this trivia game of, What's, what's what that under from? My yeah. hood. <laughs> I mean, there's weird things that don't resemble any particular model like these cars we're walking to now. What's these, GTMOs? Is, yeah, GTM. GTM, yeah. GTM quite Owners what, Club. What is that, um, though? What's that based, or right. is it not based? Well, this, this is the thing, so obviously it may or may not be based on anything. Look at this thing. Who knows oh, what that is? Oh, that's a, that's a Westfield. Well, I know it's a Westfield, because it's, it's a Westfield uh, stand, but what is it? Oh, it's, I do know what it is. We will come back. <laughs> when Rob has memory. Yes. Well, I like, I quite like that sort of British sports car, like um, yeah. Perspex covered lights and, but they just look small. They look like a little, um, remind me of the cappuccino, you know? The, oh yeah. The little. The chicky little, wind. Little uh, <laughs> Japanese two seater thing. Yeah. And then you've, you've got, got uh, Jeeps, the toy, yeah. The little toy Jeeps. Little toy Jeeps, they're tiny. The thing is they look, from here, they probably look quite big, but yeah. when you get up next to one, they're actually really small. Little dinky things. Um, we've no. got, some of these are quite nice. They've got the old sort of like, Spritey look about them. Yeah. Bit of a tvr -y look about it. And then we hand over here and we've got some lovely AC, <clears throat> well, AC Cobra. Well, yeah, Cobras, I mean, Cobras, Cobras everyone, let's be yeah. honest. If they were real, every single one of them would be over a million pounds. We wouldn't be sat yeah. in a field. No. But, but these are lovely. Some oh, of them are lovely. And here's this? a Lamborghini. Oh, look at that. See if I can get you a zoom in on that. Oh, well, haven't you worked out how to use my new camera yet? It's even got a ball number plate. The thing is, it sounds almost Lamborghini-ish. Almost looks Lamborghini-ish. Yeah, it sounds it, squeaky brakes. Oof. Lovely looking thing. Oh, my dad oh. would love that, little 2CV. Dad would be happy about that. He would the be horrible right chuffed. Thing. Horrible thing. But yeah, these Cobras are nice. Oh, the old three-wheelers, Citroen yeah. Specials. That's a bit of me. See, Cobra would definitely be lovely to build because they look amazing. That one inside. And they sound. They sound amazing. That one inside. Oh, we'll show you the one inside, oh. yeah. Which one, the blue one or the burgundy one? I like the burgundy one. And oh, I also that like blue one is. The blue flat, one is. With the black wheels. Yeah. It's but gorgeous. I mean, regardless of what, whether it's a Dax or it's a, I don't know what the other ones are, to be fair. You've got Hawk. What, Dax, these? AK. Yeah. There's quite a few manufacturers. And they are wicked. I yeah. mean, there's no, no two doubts about oh, it. Oh no, definitely not. Especially like this one here, look, with the white and blue. Proper oh, like old hard Ford. top as well. Old Ford style colour in the yeah. Shelby colours. And it, look at the number plate though. 16. <laughs> Makes it's not you laugh, old. It? Yeah, there's some wicked ones. But look at the turnout. I mean, there's probably more Cobras here yeah. than uh, Westfields, yeah. which is just goes to show you the following they have. So if you wanted to build one, I'm and guessing then, they're probably not particularly cheap. No. And then but over in the back, there's Northwest Kit Car Owners Club and they run Kit Fest at Santa Pod. So that's another kit car show if you're interested. 
Yeah, so was, yeah, I forgot to I forgot to mention that. So yeah. Stoneleys in May. Yeah, we're in May now, and I think Kit Fest is June or July. I'm not quite sure. Also oh, coming up this year. Yeah, yes, yeah, this year. So that's Kit Fest, and that's at Santa Pod, and that's meant to be a really good show. So we might have to try and get to that one as well. Yeah, hopefully we're not on holiday. Because uh, it'd be good to see a couple of Kit cars go down the strip. Yeah, it's a weird. You wouldn't expect to see them on the no. strip because they're more of a a corner a track car than a straight car. liner. Yeah, yeah. But then something like that's this cool, AC, isn't it? the mate. blue and white. Oh, look at look at that with the paint job stripes. That's quite cool. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Oh, it will, yeah. That's very cool. Cool, that engine in the front. Lovely. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's that wicked, is very nice. It looks like it's <laughs> meant to be there. Yeah. You wouldn't question that, would you? Oh, love the burgundy. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, and that's got the striped paint as well. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of them, isn't there? Yeah, a lot. They just keep going, all different colours as well. Yeah. I suppose it probably helps rather than them all being the yeah. same. That's a great <laughs> thing about a kit car show, I guess, is everyone has a different aspect or a different build. or. And the thing is, no just, two are the same. No, I mean, no matter what you look get. at. I mean, if you look here, they might have different coloured interiors. Some have got like riveted on the bonnet. Some of them have got like headrests. Some of them have got benches. Yeah. Some have got roll cages, whatever. Yeah. It's all what you prefer. They've got the old painted lines as well. Yeah. Even down to like bonnet catches, they've got keyways, they've got handles. Yeah. It's quite cool, isn't it? It is very much a... This one's got a nice cover on top as well. What's your favourite? It was the black one, wasn't it? Yeah, I really like the old school look. It's the black and tan, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It's proper old school. I've got tan interior now, don't you? Oh, yeah, you got tan. <laughs> what have you got tan on? Baseball. Baseball tan. Ooh. Oh, what, in the convert? In the convertible. Lovely. That is I do properly. The nice. other thing I do love is the golf, like the golf colours. Yeah, I was, I was about to say there's two of them, it's quite yeah. popular. 70 plate, look, one oh, on the end, no. 70 plate. It's wicked, isn't it? Brand new build. Do you reckon that's got aircon? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's got plastic windows. What engine's it got? <laughs> I see How a car. What is that? Or is it? That's wicked. Oh, it's got roof up tops. Yeah, bad boy. Yeah, that's wicked, isn't it? Look at that, look. Ooh. Speedos on the other side. Oh yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, as well as you run out of real estate, there's not really a. I think for me, my favourite one is the black one. The black with the tan. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That red one's nice. On the other side. Ooh. You might have to pan across to that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Gonna get run, run over by an alpha. This is nice. Red and white is a solid combo. Yeah. With the gold as well. Them wheels with the center locks are just massive. Would you need a hammer to hit them on? Uh, I would guess so. Yeah, you have a, like a drift hammer. Out of guess. Yeah, that's wicked, isn't it? Are they all left hand drive? No. Right hand drive? No, what am I about? I just walked past them and they were right hand drive. That's <laughs> yeah, nice, isn't it? It's lovely. It's this, it's this. It's the worst case, you could always store some stuff there, yeah? <laughs> you put your cold drinks there and they get cooled by the air as it comes past. Hey guys, so that is us completed here at the Kit Car Show. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching it. We've had a great time having Wicked a look day, around. Yeah. We'll leave you with a backdrop of some GT40s behind us and some Kit Car noises as they all drive off. Um, it's been a great day. I've had I would a lovely definitely time. recommend coming next year. You? Yep. Yeah, definitely. And don't forget Kit Fest, 18th of June. That is going to be a good that one. That is the next one. Any excuse to go up to Santa Pod and watch people, and you can also take your own car down the, the strip, strip as Whee! well. So until the next one, guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.